The Fake Husband Deal, Spencer Brothers Book Two by Anna Ashley, is a contemporary romance novel that follows the story of a fake marriage arrangement that blossoms into true love. It is the second book in the Spencer Brothers series, focusing on one of the siblings and his journey towards finding happiness and his place in the world. The protagonist, Jake Spencer, finds himself in dire need of a spouse, not for love, but to fulfill the stipulations of his late grandfather's will. If he's to inherit the family business, Spencer Enterprises, and avoid it being sold off, he must be married within a short time frame. With no current romantic prospects and the pressure mounting, Jake devises a plan to find a fake husband that will serve his needs and fulfill the will's requirements. Enter Axel Maxwell, a struggling actor who is striving to land his big break, but is frequently hindered by the financial instability his career path entails. When he meets Jake, he's at a low point, desperate for a steady source of income that will allow him to focus on his acting without the constant worry of making ends meet. The two are introduced through a mutual friend, leading to Jake's unexpected proposition. Axel will become Jake's husband in return for financial compensation and the security he seeks. Despite initial reluctance, due to the inherent deception and risks involved, Axel agrees, recognizing the opportunity to not only secure his future, but also help Jake in a critical moment. The pair embark on a journey to fabricate a realistic relationship, working on their backstory and publicly displaying the affections expected of a newlywed couple. As they navigate public events, family gatherings, and private moments designed to sell their love story to any observers, especially those invested in the will's conditions, the line between pretense and genuine feelings starts to blur. As time ticks away, Jake and Axel find themselves growing closer, the comfortable familiarity and playful banter opening doors to deeper connections. The once clear boundaries of their arrangement begin to fade as genuine affection and attraction take root. Jake begins to admire Axel's passion for acting, his resilience in the face of adversity, and his genuine kindness. Axel, in turn, finds himself drawn to Jake's dedication to his family business, his sense of responsibility, and his unexpected vulnerability. Despite this, Jake remains wary, wary of engaging in romantic relationships due to past heartbreaks and fear of his emotions complicating their deal. Axel, seeking stability, is hesitant to rely emotionally on someone who was initially a business transaction. Trouble brews when challenges arise that threaten to expose their facade. Jake's business rivals, who would benefit from seeing Spencer Enterprises sold, grow suspicious of his sudden marriage. They begin to probe into Jake and Axel's relationship, looking for cracks that might discredit the marriage as a sham. Simultaneously, the pair must contend with their own family's responses to their unanticipated union, navigating expectations and questions that delve into the authenticity of their bond. Moreover, the pretense becomes increasingly strained as Jake and Axel find it difficult to reconcile their growing feelings with the expiration date on their contract. With the inheritance on the line, the stakes are high to maintain their act. Yet even as they succeed in convincing outsiders of their love, they find themselves at a crossroads, unsure of how to proceed with their own hearts. Tensions reach a pinnacle as the deadline for the terms of the will approaches, forcing Jake and Axel to confront the reality of their relationship. Do they admit their true feelings and risk complicating their initial agreement, or do they part ways, securing Jake's inheritance but losing the chance at a love that has taken them both by surprise. In the end, Jake and Axel realize that their love is worth fighting for. The strength of their feelings overcomes their fears, and they take a leap of faith. They decide to turn their fake relationship into a legitimate one, revealing their true commitment to one another, to their families, and facing the possible repercussions together. Ultimately, the resolution comes when it is disclosed that Jake's grandfather had more insight into his grandson's happiness than previously believed. Recognizing that Jake might need a nudge to find true love and happiness, the will's clause was a catalyst for him to open his heart rather than just a cold-hearted tactic to secure a business heir. With this revelation, Jake and Axel's bond is not only accepted but celebrated as they move forward not as a means to an end, but as partners in a real, loving relationship. 
The novel concludes with Jake and Axel fully embracing their love for each other, as well as the life they are beginning to build together. They overcome the social and personal obstacles that stood between them and their happiness, finding fulfillment in a relationship that started as a convenient arrangement but evolved into something authentic and endearing. The fake husband deal touches on themes of vulnerability, trust, and the unexpected paths to love. It illustrates how people can find deep connections in the most unlikely situations, and how sometimes a facade can lead to the discovery of a profound truth hidden within. At its heart, the story is a romance about two men who traverse the complex world of familial expectations, personal dreams, and societal pressures, eventually finding solace and joy in each other's arms. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.